Yeah, so every so often I go on slick deals, I see some sort of subwoofer and immediately there's 10 pages of comments. It's usually a shit show. Most common scenario is that whatever size or model they have, so there's always one or two people telling you to get something better and it's a never ending rabbit hole. So I just want to go over some of the things I've learned. I built this home theater room a few months ago. It's not that big. It's only 11 by 12 or so. Less than eight foot ceilings. So it's probably less than 200 square feet. Again, if you're a typical homeowner, you're probably looking at different types of subwoofers. In this case, I have the mono price T HX 10 inch. I'm gonna see if I can find the model number and put it in the video. But when this was on sale during the holidays, of course, a lot of people were like, well, just get the 12 inch. And then of course, when they have the 12 inch on sale, there's always some guy saying, well, just get the 15 inch. As you can see already, the sub is already massive compared to the size of the room. For a lot of homeowners, that's a trade-off that you have to make. For some people, they don't really care. They can maybe stuff that subwoofer behind the wall somewhere or tuck it in the corner. In my case, I have the cable routed through behind the TV inside the wall. That's why it's under a TV in this position. But yeah, for me, I sacrifice a little bit in the frequency response. Um, that's usually what you trade off. I know the 12-inch has a better performance, but for me, it's good enough. It also depends on what kind of music you listen to, if any. In this case, this is just a dedicated home theater subwoofer. It depends on what kind of movies you watch. I'm, I don't watch a lot of movies that have that kind of bass where I need the best and lowest frequency response. I'm really happy with this monoprice model that I got. But on the other hand, you do not want to go too cheap. I'm going to put some video and picture here of the Logitech Z5500 speakers I've been using for the last over 20 years now. I wouldn't even consider a proper home theater setup. I want to show that because this is something that a lot of people are tempted to do in the beginning. I know that model is a computer speaker, but size-wise, a lot of people for their home theater will try to get the smallest, cheapest subwoofer. And on the opposite end of the spectrum, those frequency responses are not just quite, they're not quite low enough for movies if you want that really deep rumbling bass. So, yeah, you don't want to go too small, but you don't want to go too big either. But the point of this video is I just want to say, don't let people persuade you to get something more than what you need. People always complain that, oh, well, you know, if, it's, if you find out it's too small, you're going to have to upgrade it. Well, it's fine. It's not a big deal. A lot of these companies, maybe not uh, mono price, but I, I believe SVS allows free returns. So, I mean... Just try it out. I mean, it's not gonna hurt. That's just my thoughts on that. There pro there's probably gonna be a lot of dislikes on this video. This is coming from someone who maybe 10, 15 years ago, when I was in my early 20s, I had those massive 12 inch or larger subwoofers in my trunk. The goal back then was to just rattle windows and disturb and piss off people next to me. Just because I thought it was cool, well, I grew up. It has to so a lot of people. But a common issue back then that we had was many times people would just get the loudest, most powerful amplifiers and subwoofers and have the shittiest speakers. And my personal opinion is that you still got to somewhat match the speakers, the satellite speakers with the sub. Again, if you have 3,000 watts or whatever subwoofer, who knows, and your speakers are crap, I mean, it's just going to be unbalanced regardless. But some pe that's just how some people like it. I'm not going to tell you how to set it up. But if you have any comments, leave it below. I know this is, this could start a lively discussion, but 
These are just my thoughts, and hope you have a good day.